Que onda si chacho arriba las manos Cabacho, moreno, penetra tu barrio Te enseño a rola cero rock back frente Plastique en esto pa' la gente Chantlazo, deep, la entregadazo Still got the coke and ramen Flex What's up, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy El Gordito once again. And today, um, se me antojo. Uh, I've been watching uh, Doña Angela's um, videos and I, I watched the mole video. I don't make mole like her. I'm gonna try it, but just for today, quick mole, I'm gonna make the Doña Maria's and that's, I'm gonna show you how I prepare that, okay? So just stay tuned and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so what I have here is eight and a quarter ounces of uh, Doña Maria mole sauce. Um, and I'll show you how to prepare that. I got some chicken bouillon. I got four and a half pounds of Tyson chicken legs and one whole onion, okay? And, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unwrap these, rinse them off, and we're going to put them in the pot to boil with the onion. And I'll show you how we do that. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get six cups of water. All right. Six cups of water. And I got my blender out for a reason, and I'll show you. And then I'm going to get about 12 more cups. So we'll do this here. Here, here, here. And one more. Will be sufficient. So I'm gonna go about a half of one. Alright. Half of one's perfect. Alright, I'm gonna put that back there. We're going to use that, and then I'm going to put this on uh, medium heat. All right, we'll wait on these here for a second. So, I'm going to take my onion here, right? I got that here, and I'm going to and I'm just going to take these whole onions and I'm going to put them in here like this, and I'm just going to kind of break them up real good, like so. And I'm going to take this onion here, and I'm going to all right, break that up like here, like that. Get all these little like that, and then we're going to. Oh, uh, where's my salt at? Then we're going to get my, this is just regular old table salt. I like uh, sea salt. Sea salt's always better, but we don't have one right now. So I'm going to get a puño of salt just for, just for now, just to boil the chicken in. And that's a puño, a little handful. We're going to put it in there just like that, right? All right. And then, you know, I'm not going to rinse these off because my uncle... And I got a lot of family that are chefs at the casinos in Las Vegas, and they say don't rinse, don't rinse off your chicken. So, so now we're just going to put these in here to boil. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You might have to take some water out. I'm going to have to take some water out. Eight, nine, ten. And let me get that. 
So I'm just gonna take this like that. Make sure that onion stays out. Added too, a little bit too much water, but that's okay. We'll add that last leg in there. That'll, that'll work. All right. So we're gonna let this boil for about 35 to 45 minutes, and then we'll be right back. All right, all right, welcome back. So it's been about 45 minutes. Our chicken is done boiling. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put about four cups of water in this. So be careful, you wanna take it right out of the, you wanna use the chicken stock. Uh, and make sure you get some of them onions in there. Okay. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful chicken stock. And I'm just using just a little cup that my wife's had for years. It is actually one cup. So I'm going to move this around here so I can get some. I'm going to turn this off. Here. So, here we go. Now I'm able to get that. Now I got some good onions down there. And... All right, so I want them, I want this to be thick. Um, okay. And then what we're going to do is, I got that off. And then what we're going to do is, you're going to pull the lid off of this Sonia Maria can. And it's going to be, there's going to be like some grease at the top, so be careful when you open it. I always open it with one of these and I open it real slow because when it pops, it kind of spits out at you. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it in here, right? Just like this. And it's kind of hard to get out. So just take it just like that. Like that. Oh, we'll leave a bag out. I'm gonna... Just like that. Yeah, leave it back out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mold that bag. Okay, now that we got that all out like that, just take your knife and stick it down in there. And then what you can do is you can let this glass soak and uh, peel the Doña Maria sticker off and you got a nice little whiskey glass or Kool-Aid glass or whatever kind of glass you want. But yeah, we collect these. It's a Mexican thing. Okay, so after you got that done, I got a little trash bag over here. I'm gonna wash my hands here real quick. So after you got that done, this is where the chicken bouillon comes in. And my grandma always said a cucharita. So this is a cucharita. And this is a bigger spoon. You just wanna get about that much right there and put it in there, just like that. Okay. All right, so we're done with that. And then we're gonna take this over to the blender like this. Just like this. And we're not gonna, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stir it, just an easy stir. Just like that. All right, just an easy stir in the blender. And while that's stirring easily, I'm gonna take the chicken out of this real quick. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. We're gonna take the chicken out of here like this. Oh man, falling off the bone. And just let that stir. The longer it stirs.
Okay, got that there. That there. That there. And right there. Okay. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing. So we're just gonna set this aside, right? All right. So what I have here is what's on sale at Hy-Vee today. Um, it is fully cooked shrimp, peeled and de-veined, and the tail is off, right? I love shrimp, love camarones. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open the bag of camarones, just like that, right? And I'm just going to pick them Rinse them off in cold water, just like this. Get the bag. Right? Alright. And then I'm going to take it and stick it. This mark here. And then you're going to take them. And you're going to put them in that chicken stock. Just like that. Right? All right, and you're gonna let them sit in there. You're gonna let them sit in that chicken stock just for a couple minutes. All right, let me turn the camera around so you guys. We're letting that sit in the chicken stock for a couple minutes just to get them soft. They're already fully cooked, okay? Do that there. And we got our mole blending right here. Now uh, let me show you what we're gonna do next. Now that this is done, we're gonna carefully take the lid off of it. We're gonna take our fork, right? Look at that. Oh man. Oh wow. That's delicious. Then we're gonna take it right over here to our chicken, which I have now transferred into the and we're going to pour it in there just like this right just like that okay just like that and there's going to be and that's plenty in there and there's going to be a little bit of mole left over so now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer these shrimps into a bowl so now that we have our shrimp all right we're just going to pour all that all in there and just like so and then oh boy look at that all right look at that All right, stay tuned for the plate. Ah, so finally, we get to eat. And as you can see, I have a real nice place of mole con camarones, or camarones con mole, and my chicken mole. Now let's see how it tastes. And there's just no other way to eat this. You just have to pick it up and eat it, so. Mmm. Oh boy. This is just delicious. Yep. Perfect. Let's get a nap in here. Here, let me use this new <laughs> All right. Let's try the shrimp now. Okay. Mmm. Man. Did you put shrimp in all of it? Mm -mm. Oh boy. Delicious. That is just delicious. And then with the cilantro, I did that on purpose, right? So the cilantro and the shrimp and the onions, 
that is just a combination that you can't beat. Man. This was the mole glass. As you can see, every mole glass comes with a decoration on it. This says El Chocolate 36. So, cheers. Ah. Well, if you like this video and you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And also, go ahead and hit that notification bell. So when I do upload a video, you are notified. Thank you to all my previous subscribers, my new subscribers, and I welcome all future subscribers. This is El Gordito. Thank you for watching Gordito's World. As you know, I've been back. I'll be uploading a lot more videos and uh, got some exciting news coming hopefully next week. So uh, stay tuned. And look for my next video. For now, as El Gordito says, peace and chicken grease. It's so